Greetings from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. We are looking still at 5P 2.2. We are looking at uh, how we look at the sum of the total is equal to the sum of its parts. Um, so we're going to be talking a little bit about that. Last video we had, we talked about solids and creating that robot. Now we're going to talk a little bit more about some liquids and some solids and mixing them together to give them that interaction that we talk about. So what we have here today is um, we've got a Nalgene bottle. This is a bottle that came with uh, the digital scale that came into the schools. Check in your media center, check with your science lab people if you have one, or check with your third grade teacher assistant. They also have access to this um, digital scale. Um, it goes up to 400 grams, which is less than a pound. So be, be, be mindful of that because you're putting things on there. Putting things greater than a pound um, is too much, but it's very sensitive. So keep that in mind. We have the bottle, we have the lid, we also have some fruit punch mix. So we're going to be combining this, this granular, granular solid into our water to, make, to see a change happen um, through that interaction. So we're going to be talking a little about that today. And we also have 200 milliliters of water we're going to be adding together as well. Um, with this standard talking about the, the weight of the parts, um, we're also going to talk a little bit about describing quantitatively and qualitatively. And yes, I understand that that's in a third objective, but I want to make sure that we're getting kids to think that way as we're describing things, looking at them by the numbers, the quantities, as well as the, quanti at the quantities, as well as the qualities that they're seeing with their physical properties that they're seeing. So, um, just to get started, we're going to weigh each of the pieces, and we've already done each of the pieces separately. Um, we're kind of just going to talk a little about that one. So we would take the bottle, and it is an empty bottle at this time, and we're going to set it on and take our total on here. And it says that we are at 93 and 54 hundredths of grams, and we have that one there. And we will measure out, we have the cap with the powder in it, so it is the cap plus the powder. Um, we're using this as, our, as our, our container as well, because if we have a different container and weigh it, then I need to be weighing that container as well. We had talked about having the powder on a piece of paper and weighing it that way, but then we have the weight of the paper as well. So we're trying to use the, the container to, which is going to be part of the lid once we put it all together. I hope that makes sense. Um, so we're going to zero off on the on-off button that says zero, so we're going to click that just to zero out our scale every time to make sure that we're back to, back to square zero. Um, so we'll set that on there. We come up with 15 and 5 hundredths of a gram. So I've got those two together. And then I've got my water. And what we've done here is we weighed it with the, we weighed just the, just the flask. Uh, zero it out and then put the uh, water back in to get a weight in that one. So at this point we've got a list of weights of each of our pieces. So our, our question for the kids is what do you think our weight will be when we add all these together? Our standard says in a true closed system. Um, we're not going to have a true closed system here. Because as we know as adults, when I pour the water out of here, there's still going to be some water particles that are still in this bottle. So it's going to be a little bit less. We're going to, I'm not going to tell my kids about that at first. I'm going to let them see that it's a little bit off and then try to figure out why is it off. Because this, is, this should be close. Um, so we're going to be doing that as well. Um, also, there is a little bit of error in some of these scales, and we've got a good one, but there still might be off by a tenth or two tenths on different things. So there's different opportunities for changes there as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit and I'll say, okay, what do you think this is? We're going to take our solids, and I'm going to pour that into here. I'm going to use my hand, I'm going to use, the, I'm going to use this paper as a funnel to help me to get it in there and not to make a mess and spill a bunch of it. Shake it down in there. Once I have that in there, I want for my kids, so now they've got the quantitative, I want them to go ahead and describe what are the qualities that they see in this. One of the properties that we look at is color. So I have some larger red chunks, um, some smaller, lighter pink chunks. I see um, that some of the chunks are bigger than others. Somebody might say that it looks like sand, so they're talking about those tiny little granules. That's a great different way to look at it too. Um, 
giving them opportunity to feel what that loop feels like. It may feel rough like sand. So now we're talking texture as well. So we've got our, our, our solid in there. Now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna add my 200 milliliters of water. So what is this? I've got a clear substance. It is a liquid. So I've talked about a solid here and I'm adding a liquid to it. Um, we all know what water is. We've seen it and smelled it and drank it before. Some of us even cleaned ourselves in it. So we're gonna go ahead and pour this into our bottle. Pouring it in slowly. So I before had a clear, sal a clear liquid and a red salad. So now I have the two together. Have we seen a change happen with that interaction? I'm gonna put my lid on there. If you look very closely, we've got a lot of granules in the bottom. So I'm gonna give this a good shake and see if I can get those to dissolve in there. Okay, so now I have, we'll describe now what we have. After my interaction of the solid and the liquid, I now have a red colored liquid. Um, I still have a few granules in the bottom and that's okay. Um, so we've given that a good shake and that's what we have. So our statement now is, what is our mass going to be? Just looking at this, and we can use the estimation too for a little bit right here. As I see, um, 190. So I've got 196, um, 196 plus 8 takes me to 204, uh, 204 plus 90 gives me th uh, 3 to 290, I'm going to throw my math right here, this is great on the fly, 290, it's about 300 is my estimation right here. So we're going to stick this on here and see what we come up with. So this sum is 298 and 92 hundredths. Fluctuate between 92 and 93. I'm going to step away from it because my breath and my talking will make it fluctuate too. So we have a total here. Of 200. 98 and 93 hundredths. Hundredths of gram. So the question is the sum of our parts is equal to the weight of the whole. So I've put it all together. We estimated that it would be about 300. 298 is very close to 300. If we add these up, will we have the same total as this? I say no. Because, as I look in my bottle, I have some water droplets still in it that did not make it in there. So that's gonna give us a little bit less. My paper that I use has a little bit on there. So in theory, if everything makes it in there, in a cl true closed system, which we do not have, it should be exact. Ours is gonna be off by a little bit because we're not a true closed system. Um, when Warren did it with the solids, nothing was evaporating, nothing disappeared, nothing was left behind, it was all intact. This makes it a little bit more difficult. There's more variables in, in, in this, but it helps us to be able to look at that very carefully. One of our formative assessment probes that we look at is lemonade talks about a glass of lemonade and unsweetened and adding sugar to it and predicting what will the mass of it be. We are talking about weight. We'll talk a little bit about that into our, into our time as we're having our conversations live, um, but we want to talk about things as weight with this. So this is kind of a way to look at liquids and solids having an interaction and what that interaction looks like qualitatively and quantitatively. Stay classy with the Salem.